If my face or eyes look puffy, I am five days away from getting married and I officially had my first mental breakdown. It's fine, everything's gonna be okay, it passed, but I feel like this, this isn't working right now. But we are going to fix that with step one. We are going to cleanse away all of our stresses of the night and day. I am using BioClarity's step one. This has cucumber, green tea. If I'm removing makeup, I will use something prior to just kind of like melt everything away, but I've been loving this and I use it with my Foreo Luna 2. If you have a Clarisonic, that would work too. I'm just gonna throw on a little dollop. I always give it like a little massage into the brush and just massage lightly and the cleanser and this tool will do all the work. Next, this is perfect for acne. This is BioClarity's Step 2 and this has salicylic acid in it so I like to just take a little bit and use it as a spot treatment you can use it all over your face if you want but salicylic acid tends to make my skin dry so it's perfect for a spot treatment because it dries out those breakouts and I just spot it on anywhere I feel like something's popping through or an active breakout the step three restore step of bioclarity is my favorite because it's just so cool i've never seen anything like this so they have floralex in it please forgive me if i'm saying it wrong but it is derived from chlorophyll and if you know anything about chlorophyll it's pretty much plants or the scientific thing plant does to turn sunlight into life i think science is not my strong suit but yo this is green. So it cancels out redness. It's great for dry skin. It's great if you're oily. This is like so cool and it just really does everything I want it to. I definitely put way too much on because I want you to see the green, but it will just soak right in. And BioClarity is 100% cruelty free, vegan. I'm trying to be more conscious of that and incorporate it more into my life. It's hard when I own so many products that unfortunately are made from companies that sell in countries that require animal testing, but I'm trying my best to transition, so you might see more of that on my channel. The other reason I've fallen in love with step three, and I've never used the Nivea Men Shade Cream, but I believe it did the same thing, and that's why so many people loved it as a pre-treatment to makeup, is it leaves like a little bit of a tacky sticky, but in a way that makes your makeup just like stick perfectly. It's like the ultimate primer to a point that like I don't really use a primer that often anymore unless I'm doing like a 16 hour day or something. And I do just want to clarify, BioClarity did send me this stuff. I would never talk about a product or say things I didn't believe to be true. I will always be honest with you guys. And they did also give me a 50% off coupon code. I'll put that in the video description or you can just see it right here. It is BB50, really simple. So the whole three step does retail for $29.95 a month and that way you can get it 50% off if you wanna give it a shot. My everyday makeup routine is literally five minutes and I'll start with like the most important stuff and then I'll kind of like add the extras at the end. If I have time, I'll do them, but if not, I know I have the bases down. The first thing I do is I want like a little bit of natural highlight, so I go in with the MAC Strobe Cream. Squeeze a little in your fingers, there you go. I also don't tend to use a lot of brushes on my day-to-day. -day. I tend to just like to use my fingers and keep it really simple or just a beauty blender. And it will just add like the most subtle natural glow once you're like wearing it all day. I love it. The next most important step for me and making sure I feel confident and comfortable all day is to have my brows filled in. And I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I will just kind of give them a little brush through. If you can see, I don't grow hair in my arch, so that's like my main point of gotta fill this in. Giving them a little brush down will help you get inside those brow hairs and not go too ham. And then I might mess with the front just slightly. On these five minute days, I don't even reach for foundation. It is key to have a concealer that matches like right to your skin tone because you don't have foundation to kind of like help everything match. 
and I love the Urban Decay, bleh, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I just think this is like the perfect concealer to make it look like you're not wearing heavy concealer, but it conceals everything you need it to. I will put it underneath my eyes. I tend to get red just like all around the nose area, so I will conceal that. And then I'll just use it as a spot concealer. And once you blend it out with a beauty blender, it looks very natural. I'll add a bit of color to my face, and I've been a long time Benefit Hoola bronzer fan. I just think this is like the best bronzer. I do wish it came in darker tones. I think Benefit has a very limited color selection, but if you're like NC35 and under, this is a great bronzer for you. And I'll just hit it right at the cheekbone. Same brush, I'll just pull out Low T London Tan Time Bronzer. I wouldn't use this to like contour, but I actually kind of like it as a quick cheek color. It helps kind of like add a little bit of liveliness to your face, and it also kind of blends the contour with everything. I call this one brush eyes because I only use this one fluffy brush from Sephora, and it doesn't have a number so it's not helpful, but any fluffy brush with that same bronzer, I kind of just put that quickly into my crease. Just to add a bit of definition and warmth, and it will kind of pull in your cheeks with your eyes. Then I grab just one more color and we're done. I used the Clinique Lid Pop in Cocoa Pop, and this is just a beautiful, oops, hit my mic. Is this a good look for me? I think, yeah. My next mask is curled eyelashes because I have very straight eyelashes. Even if I don't have time for mascara, I still curl my eyelashes because it makes a huge difference for me. The mascara I always use and I'll probably always only use is the Maybelline The Falsies Waterproof Mascara. This mascara is just, I found perfect for my type of eyelashes. If you have like thin straight eyelashes but they're like kind of long if they're not like short this will hold the curl for you perfectly for highlight i am such a fan of champagne pop i just think it's beautiful on all skin tones and it's the one i find myself reaching for every day using the sephora pro contour brush i will just look at that i mean put that right on my cheekbones pretty much everywhere that we have put the strobe cream I hit that again with highlighter. If I still have time when I'm getting ready, I hit my brows with the Give Me Brow from Benefit and I'm in shade three. I like it because the wand is just like super small and you can just really get in there. In the front where I didn't really fill in, I'll just kind of like brush up and add a bit more product. I'm going in with MAC Yash and this is a matte lipstick. What's my hair doing though? Okay, is my hair like auditioning for a pageant or something and I didn't get the memo? What's it doing? All right guys, I slept in that bun and I'm not totally hating what my hair's doing, but I'm also like, I don't know if it's quite me. I'm gonna leave it cause time is up. We did our makeup in five minutes and we are ready to go. I apologize if I seem like super off in this video. I feel like I was off. And it's literally like I have wedding stuff just like running around in my head. We had this like huge situation where the bridesmaids dresses didn't quite fit. So five days out, I'm ordering new bridesmaids dresses for everyone. And hopefully they arrive on time and they get altered. Ooh, weddings, weddings are fun. Weddings are difficult. Weddings are stressful. But I'm trying to like live in the moment and not let all the stress get to me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stress myself out again, and we just can't do that, but I love you guys so much, and thank you guys for being a part of my everyday life, and my story, and honestly, the past seven years of my life. That's crazy. Well, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I will see you guys very soon, and I think the next time I sit down like this and film, I won't be single. I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!